Hi Stitchers! I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queen Special Extra Laura's Whip Parade for August. I, If you haven't been here before, you might not know that I started the year with a little over 180 whips and each month I have chosen a section of those to work on and work through and see what kind of decisions I'll make about them and see if I still love them. So far I've done pretty well. I've only UFO'd a couple of them. But let's jump right in and I'll show you what I have. The first one I have is Needlework Press in all things the exceedingly diligent. And that is what the chart looks like. And I have a huge start on this because it was one of my 22 for 22. So there it is, S and T, <laughs> right along the uh, border of that and just getting things going. And I have this one in a beautiful bag from Judy, who is Judy's Project Bags and More on Facebook. I just love it. So that is it with this pretty white on white inside. Next, I have Whale Watch from Chessie and Me. And this one is on a 36 count fabric just a cute little one it came as a kit and I really I would like to just get this one finished it would take quite a bit of work but I think I could do it this one is in a fun bag from fat cat flossing and there's the inside um, that's Leslie and she lists her bags on Instagram then I have from Modern Folk Embroidery, The Little Busy Bee. And I found this beautiful piece of fabric. I think my tag is still on it. It is 28 count spice from Picture This Plus. And I just picked an overdyed floss that I liked. And I worked on it here. I'm at retreat this weekend. I worked on it here a little bit already. So I don't know if I'll get, I'll probably put it at the bottom and hopefully I'll get a little more time to work on it. Then the next one I have is Peacock Floral Tile. And this is one that I'm not sure that I'm going to go on with. Um, it was given to me as a gift, but I really do not enjoy backstitching, and it is a uh, kind of a crazy big chart. Really, all I have is the border. I haven't even finished crossing that bottom row. So this one will probably be given away. And I have it in a Love You More bag. The next one is from um, Blue Ribbon Designs, and it is this. It's called Little Blue Bungalow. It was a free chart that was given out, and I've started this on a 40 count fabric with a conversion of uh, Vicki Clayton silks. I've been looking to try and decide if I, one of my pinks is a little too light, but I think I may just go with it and let it be subtle in there. Another Love You More sleeve. And I have another one from Blue Ribbon Designs. This one I don't have a color picture, but this is what it is. It's another free design. And it's called Stars Over Pines. Um, and I have a little start on it. I think it'll be really sweet. And I have yet another Love You More bag. If you are new here and you don't know, I'm the one who sews all of the Love You More sleeves. So I have quite a few of them that I use for my projects. The next one I have is from Carolyn Manning Designs, 
and it's the Flower a Day Stitch Along. And the idea was that you were supposed to stitch one flower every day. And uh, I didn't start it with the Stitch Along, I bought it afterwards. I have this beautiful piece of a solo die from Silk Weaver, a Cashel Linen 28 count. And I have this much done. I'm doing it one over one on the 28 count. Let me put this one more. And I don't have flosses in with this. My idea was that I would just pull floss from whatever I was working on and put in a little flower. And that was how far I got into the year. Um, other things just got in the way and I didn't, didn't get there. I have this in this really cute blue Q bag with all the little flowers. Then from the crossed wing collection, I have Glory in the Morning. This one's just beautiful. My family got me the fabric for this. Uh, they got me the piece of fabric that is dyed specifically for this. And I can pull it open. It is bigger than me. <laughs> it is this big. And then that's what I have started. So I have a good chunk in. Um, you will see me pull this out when we do our stitch together with uh, Keisha and I, along with Sean and Fawn from Sanctum Stitching. So I'm really looking forward to, their, to our stitch along so that I can get some more good work into this one. Sorry about the zips. Then next I have from Papillon Creations, Cotillion. Love this. Uh, this one I have on a piece of Picture This Plus fabric and I'm doing my own colors from what I pulled when she still had her shop out there. So I have silks, a lot of Vicki Clayton silks. And I think that will be gorgeous. I have this in another bag from Judy, from Judy's Project Bags and More. And it is my Ravenclaw bag. So it looks like this. With the bun inside. I just have a couple more. This may be the last one. The last one that I have is called Quatrefoil. It's from Lisa Steel Designs. I don't think she is designing anymore, but this was one of the first charts that she put out. And I just fell in love with it. Um, it was set up originally for a round robin and the little hearts in the center were different colors. She was doing all four seasons. Um, it's got a lot of really beautiful work on it. I've chosen my own colors and I'm doing different colors for each season. So I have one pretty much in, and I have to fill in the rest of the, the little bits in it, and then move on to the next season. So that's my collection for this month, short and sweet. And I hope that you'll come back and see what kind of progress I make through the month. Um, drop me a note below and let me know what's your favorite of the month and what you're waiting to see progress on. That's all I have for now. Thanks, bye.